We do a lot of hormone replacement therapy in the office. It's probably one of the major situations that people come in to see us for. And of course, the first one is women who are in menopause. And the symptoms in menopause are varied and very different from woman to woman, but the things that you will tend to see will be fatigue, depression, hot flashes, night sweats, weight gain, inability to do things that they normally could do. Sometimes there's memory problems. Sometimes women think that they're developing Alzheimer's disease. There's any number of things that will occur. The skin gets kind of wrinkled. They just don't look as good as they used to look or they feel like they don't look as good as they used to look. And those are all symptoms that are related to menopause. And a lot of times women are given, guess what, antidepressant drugs. They go into the doctor's office and that's what they're given a prescription for, but that's not the problem. It's not that they're depressed, it's that they're hormone deficient. So we work with hormone repletion. We give women the hormones that they used to have and all of these symptoms can be reversed. Usually they start to change within days, but certainly within three to four weeks, there's a substantial improvement in the vast majority of women. Hormones that have been used in the past have been artificial synthetic types of hormones. There have been a lot of papers published about this and one of the reasons that the newspapers have come out against hormones so often is that it was the synthetic ones that were causing the bad side effects. These issues related to breast cancer, related to other things, were all connected with the use of synthetic hormones, non-bioidentical. We only work with bioidentical hormones. That means that what the woman takes is what her body has been used to making her whole life. So she's not getting something into her system that's a different compound. It's bioidentical and it makes a big difference. We have a published paper from France following 80,000 women for eight years and using bioidentical hormones, that means bioidentical estrogen and progesterone, there was no increase in breast cancer incidence and that's one of the main reasons some doctors have told women not to take hormones. But breast cancer has not gone up in the studies that we have related to the use of bioidentical hormones. You can take them through the skin, you can take them under the tongue, they can even be taken by injection, although most women are not using it that way. We have used it as pellets, which I think is a very excellent way of taking hormones. This is something you insert under the skin after making a small incision in the skin, and the pellets will work for somewhere between three and six months, giving a constant blood level. We use hormones for men as well because men develop hormone deficiency also. I had a 102-year-old man come in my office a couple of months ago feeling just fatigued. He was tired. He thought it was because he was 102 years old, but we found out that his testosterone level was extremely low. So we started him on a transdermal testosterone preparation, came in the next month smiling, and his 80-year-old wife was smiling, his new wife, and his 80-year-old son was smiling. Everything had changed in this man within one month just by giving him the testosterone that his body was no longer making. So these things can be beneficial and men benefit from hormone replacement as well. And symptoms in men are oftentimes similar. They get weak, they get tired, their muscles are not as good as they used to be, they're not as strong, they don't have the endurance, they can't perform in sports the way they used to. And this is related frequently to testosterone deficiency and you have to do a blood test to find out what's going on. It's not a predictable thing you can tell just from looking at the guy. And I've seen substantial changes in people's athletic performance. Now they can play golf again. Now they can ride their bike again. Their whole life changes, the same as it does in women who need hormones and are given those things again. So we work with hormones on a regular basis. I think they're generally, if they're managed properly, extremely safe. And bioidentical is the only way to go.